Yeah, it's a bit too much, I think. Fucking what? Shit. Okay, good. No! No! Oh, I just lost like five minutes. Have you seen that uh, room 237? No. Yeah, I appreciate this is probably old news. I watched it the other day. It's insane. It's probably it's the best bad shit I've seen in a long time. So this guy was utterly convinced that uh, Stanley Kubrick wrote and directed... Well, he didn't write, but you know, he, he did the screenplay and directed The Shining to like try and secretly tell the world that he faked the moon landing. And there are loads of clues in The Shining that point you to the conclusion that Stanley Kubrick faked the moon landing. I, in honesty, I could believe that that's the case. Are you insane? No, no, no. I, I, I believe it solely out of comedic value. You'd believe Not... something solely out of comedic value? Well, yeah, because that would be hilarious if Stanley Kubrick had indeed faked the moon landings and then went so far as to put overt hints in a film. Yeah, just, it was just him trying, just, to, it's him trying just to tell so, the world that he faked the moon yeah. landing. Yeah, but of course he doesn't want to be assassinated by the American government, so obviously he can't just outright say it. Yeah, but he puts hints in the... Uh, I feel like if he was trying to put hints in The Shining, the American government would just kill him anyway. Like, he would <laughs> disappear after that film. If he was like, oh yeah, yeah, look, this kid's wearing an Apollo 11 shirt. And then like... <laughs> and this guy keeps saying, <laughs> Stanley Kubrick faked the moon landings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always thought that scene in The Shining was weird when that guy literally just says Stanley Kubrick faked the just, moon landings over and over He just sat down for five minutes and meticulously explained exactly how it was done <laughs> These subtle hints that he dropped into the film <laughs> Do you remember when, uh, do you remember when Shelley Duvall goes into that room with the typewriter and just says over and over again Stanley Kubrick faked <laughs> the moon landings <laughs> <laughs> All work Now and play. you say it All work Now you <laughs> Now you say, yeah, I do. <laughs> All work and no play makes a Stanley Kubrick fake the moon landing. <laughs> <laughs> Such autism. And hilarious. Well, yeah, sometimes his jokes are fucking terrible. Not that one, case. please. It's just fucking stupid. No, Spider Manus is one of the best. It's not a joke. Oh, fuck you! What happens if he, if he touches spiders, though? I know we already established that they, they turn, turn into, into spiders. spiders. They turn into other spiders. No, no, no. It depends. Turns out. No, no. It but... turns into a vi no, it, if, if he touches spiders, it actually turns into a video of Stanley Kubrick faking the moon. <laughs> that's, how, that's how we know. It just turns into The Shining. And of course, now that I think about it, wasn't The Shining just... It was just an hour of static. With, um... Repeat the repeating audio. Stanley Kubrick faked the moon landing. Yeah, like like a subsonic frequency. No, no, it was just some guy. It was just some. As I recall, it was just some oh, yeah, black it was, guy. It was walks Stanley on, the moon. walks it was on Stanley over the, the moon walks on over the salt and pepper. Just like walks in front of the salt and pepper on the TV screen. Just says Stanley Kubrick faked the moon landing, and then walks walks out. But he says it in that annoying minute minute history like sped up voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Wow, that was close. No, fuck you. You didn't feel alone. Wow, that opening. Fuck you. I hate that shit. I'm wasting all the time. It's like a minute on trying to get the right opener. Come on, just oh. fucking what? Six I'm times gonna, in a row? I'm probably going to actually go to bed at like 12 because I'm fucking tired. What are the odds of this? I'm starting to think from soft is fucking with me. Probably what my favourite, I'd say my favourite boss fight in Dark Souls, in original Dark Souls, um, obviously not Dark Souls 2 or 3, I haven't really played them. The false would be, ones. Is the Moonlight Butterfly, because like, you go in there, um, you know, you can summon, um, Losing time. Can summon Man Eater and all that sort of stuff, if you really want to. And Man then no you can't. No, 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 but then, then, when, you're, then when you're fighting the Moonlight Butterfly, yeah? Suddenly, like, the whole fight just stops, and the Moonlight Butterfly just looks directly at the screen and just says, Stanley Kubrick, Stanley Kubrick fake the moon, moon landings. Landings. Yeah, of course, I forgot about that. 
Yeah, like, just that really like hit home to me. No, that was um they they did some great job creating atmosphere, obviously in that in that part. Yeah. yeah. I have now been quitting out and reloading the ONS fight probably about so ten like, times. Like, just saying. Just grows a face. Okay, there we go. Fucking hell, Nakimi. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. And the okay, come on then. Fuck you! It's like I got a frame drop right at that moment. And now I'm losing all my time. So, Japes. Okay, that's good. Now, get the stun. Get the stun! Oh, I'm fucking dead! Ah! That sounded a bit like uh, a Willem Dafoe. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Spider-Man! Yeah. Spider-Man! Come on! Died twice in the painted world. Gonna make some time over there. Fuck off! This opener! I swear I must have got this opener about 15 times. Like... Ha! Did you get it? It's a funny joke. Yeah, it's a fucking great man. What right do they proclaim to have separatism? I'm not feeling it. This opener. Fucking stupid. Wow, that was absolutely brutal. I can't believe that. Just pounding it. Currently losing five minutes on this split alone. Wow! Oh, I've got the wrong thing out! <coughs> Fuck! <coughs> oh. Ooh, that was close. What do you got, bitch? What, really? God damn it. It's a bit much. Oh, hello. Okay, guess I'm doing it without then. Okay, guess I'm dying then. Oh, that was dumb. My ally is going to turn up. Hello? What the fuck? Red tear stone range. Whoa. That could have killed me. Gonna be the first time I ever died to that guy. Trip on the rock there. What the fuck? I've no idea what just happened, but I'm slightly aroused. What the fuck? No, what the fuck? Just happened. Oh, if I have the bonfire, that's fucking it. Like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Yeah, got... him. No, fuck you. I just got trapped in a fucking wall. What the fuck is this? Oh my fucking god. That's that's just the fucking icing on the cake. Chandler killed me, and then I got stuck in a wall. I'm still getting 15 frame drops. What the fuck is wrong with this game? Uh huh. Right, okay, fuck this run.